think that resilience means the physical properties uh, of a material or st structure to return to the um, original shape or position uh, after deformation. To quickly bounce back um, and get back operational, whether that's business-wise, school-wise, you know, community-wide, to be able to um, resume business as usual. That's what we mean by resiliency. Committee 130 uh, was, from the very beginning, inspiring all of us as engineers and, and stakeholders in, in our places uh, where we live and where we have children and families uh, living, that um, we can do better. And I think that 130 does a very ample job in, in viewing all the different aspects that go into the building's design, construction, use, demolition or deconstruction, but then also providing tools and resources and education to not only the United States members, but to our global community as well. It's a committee that immediately identified that design uh, and, and the engi structural engineers and the design community can play a role you know, before a structure exists, just from the conceptual standpoint. So it's never too early to start, we say, and this committee hits the nail in the head. ACI is a founding member of the Concrete Joint Sustainability Initiative, which is pretty much all the uh, concrete associations throughout North America. And we've come together to teach people about our products, how they can be used in a more sustainable manner and in a more sustainable way, and uh, how they fit into a resilient plan. We cannot control natural forces such as earthquake and um, hurricanes. Uh, therefore, we need to design infrastructure and the buildings with a uh, high resilience. We're trying to let people know that you can do things that will reduce the impact of natural disasters and thinking about resiliency and sustainability is one way to do that. I feel that ACI does an extremely wonderful job in educating throughout the Institute about resiliency and concrete durability and able to withstand elements. <laughs>